this uh, community center is just on the outskirts of Belgrade in Serbia and a tremendous opportunity to try to interface with families, especially women and young people, children as well as adolescents, uh, people who are in transit. And what I've seen is a, just a tremendous a blessing to these people to help them with occupations which maybe they will get into in the future, uh, helping them to focus their attention on things which are more productive than just sitting and waiting. And what a blessing it is to see the educational component as well. In fact, they're going to have a little graduation here uh, just uh, shortly, and they're making little graduation hats. It's just a privilege to see how God's people are touching the lives of individuals who are in transit, refugees and others who are in very challenging situations. This is what God intends for us to do. When you see people in transition, people who don't have a real home base, so to speak, your heart goes out to them because, but for the grace of God, you could be in that situation yourself. Really, all of us are refugees, strangers in this place on our way to heaven. There is a real spiritual lesson that can be learned out of what ADRA is doing for people who are heading towards something better. And uh, when you see these people, especially young people and ladies who are learning or participating in sewing and activities that can help them to truly be a benefit to their family and to society. When you see young people who are trying to learn a trade or do something productive, you realize that the Holy Spirit is working through ADRA to touch people in practical ways so that uh, not only their skills and their own personal uh, lifestyle will be benefited, but also people will see the spiritual component and how God can help them, not only for their own personal benefit, but for eternity.